Welcome back to New Rockstars, I'm Eric Voss, and Marvel's Hawkeye is now halfway through the season with the latest episode teasing its ultimate villain, speculated to be Uncle Wilson, Kingpin, and a recent trailer spot for the next episodes doubling down while teasing some even bigger reveals, including multiple ways these final episodes could bring in major Avengers characters. Take a look. Ready? Critics agree, Hawkeye is one of the best shows on television. It's the most fun Marvel adventure of the year. And the biggest surprises are yet to come. Who's that? Whoa! Specifically, those final three shots are the ones to really look closely at. The second, of course, returns to the most important shot in episode three, arguably the most important shot in the whole season, the big cheek. Pinch, teasing the shady new mentor to Maya Lopez, codenamed Uncle, whom we're pretty certain is Wilson Fisk Kingpin, maybe even Vincent D'Onofrio returning from playing the character in the Netflix Daredevil. But until now, the Hawkeye series has yet to confirm what the Avengers level threat of this storyline will be. So far, the most Avengers level the show has gotten was Clint firing a Pimtech arrow at another arrow to turn it giant sized and leave another Tiamat sized mess for people to have to clean up. But this moment is clearly leading to something on a higher scale because back in a promo before the season dropped, there was this clip. So Kate is helping you with an Avengers level threat? He's my partner. It's kind of a stretch. So this must pick up with Kate and Clint in Eleanor's penthouse early on in episode four, after episode three ended with Jack catching Clint, holding the Ronin sword to his throat. Kate's talk of an Avengers level threat may just be her kind of bullshitting her mom. She's just using the term Avengers level because an Avenger is sitting right next to her. But it is true that the person running the track suits acquiring tech stolen from the wreckage of Avengers compound is really a threat they need to be worried about. You think that the track suits were after anything else at that auction? And it's pretty upsetting to think there might be stuff from the Avengers compound floating around out there. Now, some of that Avengers tech is clearly safe in Clint's hands with that Pym tech arrow, which must have been engineered for him by Hank Pym sometime after Endgame. But some other tech is definitely making its way around the black market, which is what this latest trailer begins to show us. A new angle of the sequence that we've seen in other promo footage, Clint and Kate on the ice rink at 30 Rockefeller Center fighting members of the tracksuit mafia, except now high voltage electricity spreads through the flagpoles that surround the rink. It's hard to determine if these bolts are leaping pole to pole or just stemming from any one node on a pole. They aren't coming from those six blue lights. Those were already set up to make the rink look blue that are visible when other characters are walking up to the rink and other trailer shots. But it does look like they are coming from something attached to one of those poles on the left. Now with electric bolts like this, the mind does first go to Electro, who in Spider-Man No Way Home may be in the New York City area around the same time as Hawkeye. However, in No Way Home, Electro's bolts have been deliberately redesigned from their blue color in The Amazing Spider-Man 2 to the yellow color from the comics. And let's remember Electro remains a Sony property that would be extra hard for Marvel to negotiate an appearance in an otherwise pure MCU Disney Plus title. Rather, when it comes to blue tinted electric currents, the closest example we have seen of this kind of VFX has been the Widow's Bite of Natasha Romanov. This is the taser projectile that she fires from her wrist that paralyzes her opponents. You might say this tech would have been left with Natasha on Vormir, but not so fast, my friends. In Avengers Endgame, especially visible if you watch the new IMAX aspect ratio released on Disney+, Plus, you can see that Clint returns from Vormir at the end of the time heist with Natasha's Widow's Bite now around his wrist. 100% confirmation that the Widow's Bite made it back to the Avengers compound and was now among the wreckage that the auctioneers of Hawkeye have harvested from, arguably even more unaccounted for because the Avenger who had to keep track of this equipment was not there to claim it. And Clint's relationship with Natasha is obviously at the heart of this show. In episode one, he was triggered by the Natasha dancer in the musical and the little girl cosplaying as her, leading to Lila's line outside. I know everyone misses her, but She's your best friend. His wife, Laura, reminded Clint that catch and release was Natasha's move. Clint told Echo that it was Black Widow who killed Ronan, which was his way of saying that Natasha really saved him from his own violent madness and gave him that hope. Don't give me hope. I'm sorry I couldn't give it to you sooner. Now, sometimes I'm asked how I'm able to uh, keep my eyes open wide enough to find all of these details. And the truth is, it's just snacking, folks. Not just any snacking, because I'm tired of those same old snacks. So I have turned to Boxu. Boxu is a monthly subscription service that delivers premium Japanese snacks and tea pairings straight from Japan to your door. Each themed monthly Boxu box takes on a gourmet journey through Japan. Boxu is the only company that partners with 100-year-old 
old family snack makers. Now the first box you get is called Seasons of Japan and it lets you taste the seasonal flavors popular in Japan. Every month after that you receive a different themed box. This month's box is... Hokkaido Holiday. Each boxu comes with a beautifully designed booklet that tells you where all the snacks come from, who makes them, and all the allergen info you need. Not to brag, but I have actually been to Japan, and these snacks remind me of some of the incredible food that I had there that I miss every day. Like this delicious morsel. It's a sweet potato cookie. Oh, it's like a delicious shortbread that's curiously sweet and also has a wonderful sweet potato taste. I could eat a million of these. They don't put a million in the box, which is probably a good thing. They also got some Jagapokuru, which are little like french fry guys. Look at them. Time to eat me, please. This is just a great gift for that anime fan or travel lover in your life, especially during a time when travel can be tough. And if you subscribe before December 31st, you'll not only be getting great snack boxes every month, you'll also be entered to win two free tickets to Japan. So if you want to get some awesome Japanese snacks and help support our channel, of course, click the link in the description and use our code NEWROCKSTARS to get $20 off your subscription. So now it looks like the characters of the show have rewired and repurposed Natasha as Widow's Bite weapon for a new application. And we specifically do see Clint in another promo shot wiring together one of his arrows at a workbench, meaning this might be yet another trick arrow that he adds to his quiver. And this would link up with another mysterious promo shot of a rooftop explosion that looks like Kate in the background firing an arrow that causes a bright blue shockwave that blows someone off their feet, maybe Maya Lopez there. And it is this scene that the final new trailer shot seems to take place in reminding you of that Yet to come who's that yes indeed who is this other mystery figure wearing the night vision goggles well it's been fitting that we've been talking about black widow because yelena belova is still confirmed to appear at some point in this series and this mystery character's night vision goggles tactical vest exactly how you would imagine a spy like yelena would approach a covert nighttime mission in the black widow post credit scene yelena was assigned by val to hunt clint barton i've got your next target maybe you'd like a shot at the man responsible for your sister's death kind of a cutie don't you think? Now this photo of Clint that Val has on her tablet is the one piece of physical evidence we know of proving that Clint Barton was the same person as the Ronin assassin. In this Hawkeye series, it's being presented as a secret unknown to the public, unknown to the criminal underworld and to Kate Bishop. But Val knows, which is interesting. Combined with the fact that she would have any notion at all that Clint was responsible for Natasha's death, like how would anyone outside the Avengers know exactly what went down on Vormir? Sure, Val could just claim it was Clint's fault that Natasha died, but for her to have any evidence that Yelena would believe in order to hold Clint responsible, Val must have some source or insight into the Avengers operations. Extremely pervasive shadow government oversight, a scroll information network, Zola eavesdropping still, TVA connections, sorcery, witchcraft. Whatever narrative that Yelena believes to actually hunt Clint is gonna give us some big answers as to who Val is and the source of her power. And it tells us that Clint's days of keeping his Ronin past a secret, like the days counting down to Christmas, are numbered. Just some Christmas. To support this channel, check out some of our great merch options at NewRockStarsMerch.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at EABoss, follow New Rockstars, and subscribe to New Rockstars for more analysis and breakdowns of everything Marvel. Thanks for watching, bye.